I've been at the Spire Automotive BMW Group. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. That's quite electrifying, pardon the pun. I definitely just tried to wink there and blinked. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing on this beautiful morning? And I've just started my morning again in a different Morrison's to what I started in yesterday. And that is because, well, I don't know where I am. I am in Warrenwood, Sterling Way, at the Spire Automotive BMW and Mini Group, which you might be able to see over there. Let's go and check this one out. I was supposed to be here about five minutes ago, but I was sat in Morrison's for an hour editing my vlog, which is super productive. This might actually be the one that I'm borrowing. So let's have a look. I should probably go and say hello first, but I have absolutely no knowledge on this car. I don't know anything about it. So um, this is definitely gonna be a learning curve for me. This car is designed to drive in the city. So I've just driven it over there in that car park right there. And if you take your foot off the accelerator, it basically breaks itself. And whilst it's braking, it is charging the battery, recharging the battery, and it is most efficient through the city, which is insane. Most naturally aspirated cars are the worst MPG that you can get when you're driving around the city because you're braking, because you're wasting energy and fuel moving, but at the same time trying to slow down. The BMW genius guy says this is one of his most favored BMWs. It's in his top five BMWs. This is going to be my first proper mile in the car. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it makes no noise. Ah! But at the same time, it breaks itself. It holds itself when you're on a hill, which is good. Ooh, I don't know how wide this car is. <sighs> Breathe in. <laughs> oh, this is quite bizarre ladies and gentlemen in my head yesterday when I realized that this was actually gonna happen I had lots of cool things that I was gonna say when I picked this car up for the first time about how I'm trying to save the world how I'm driving this big electric golf car and basically it's all gone out of my head I have had it drummed into me at the um, Sterling way BMW that it is not a hybrid, that this is a fully electric car, and all the fuel does, braking, all the fuel does in this car is powers the generator that charges the electricity. So it doesn't actually, the petrol fuel tank doesn't actually power the wheels as such. But I've got this car for a few days, so this is gonna be a huge learning curve for me. But this car, I have read reviews all last night to try and get myself up to speed with it. It is loved by every single journalist that drives it. And um, I'm really, really intrigued to see how I get on with this car, a fully electric BMW. The most exciting factor that I was told about in this car is not to 30, it's as quick as the BMW M3. So we'll be testing that in London. I've been at the Spire Automotive BMW Group, woo! That's quite electrifying, pardon the pun. I definitely just tried to wink there and blinked, which looked really awkward on camera, I'm sure. How about a bit of point of view on the new BMW i3? You have the gear slash drive select here. You've got your range and speedometer there. Not sure how well you can see that but there's just so much visibility and air available in this car. This is just too weird. It's silent. Right, I am back at SB with the BMW i3. Now, here's the key. The key is actually pretty badass. It's not as badass as the i8 key. So I've posted one picture on Instagram of this car and to be honest I think I caught a relatively aggressive look now I think this front here in that wheel arch bulge there is 
quite aggressive but the good thing is it's got like massive wheels I think they're 20 inch wheels and I know it's not a supercar it's not even a sports car but I think this has got so many talking points that need to be covered with the way that BMW and the way that the car industry in general is going I just think this is quite a good opportunity to um, try out one of the first movers in electric technology right so I'm skipping a few hours now and I'm on my way to London um, I'm already confused by this car because obviously the electrical charge will need to be charged at some point and I'm hoping that I can do that overnight tonight this is something I've never ever had to think about before charging a car up so that I can use it some a concept I'm probably not quite there with in my brain trying to work out when I need to charge the car. Do I drive to London with however many miles I've got left in the tank, which is telling me 107, so that's quite a lot of mileage. However, this car, the way that it charges and the way that it is designed to work is in the city, so it works best when you're doing start-stop traffic, which has made me think this car is promoting traffic driving as opposed to long, smooth motorway miles where you can get the best fuel efficiency. So that, along with when I'm having to charge this car up, is blowing my mind. <laughs> Tell me the first sentence that you said when you got in this car. It's a house. <laughs> yeah, that's Literally. right. I think I said I feel like I'm sitting in a lounge in the vlog earlier on. Yep, like, and this is the table. Yeah. And you've got a bit of wood, you've got a bit of like plastic over there. Tell you, you what, though, this house shifts. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. It actually sort of wants you to be in traffic because it helps the battery charge. If you're really? in traffic, yeah. If you're like cruising um, on the motorway, like trying to save fuel, how you how we were in the R8 and stuff, mm. um, actually uses more battery and electricity just cruising. So it actually wants you to be in traffic, which really annoys me because <laughs> I hate traffic. Look. <laughs> It's quite punchy for a golf car. It is, it is quick. For a golf buggy or whatever. Or for a house. Yeah, for a, ha for, yeah, for a house or a golf car. It's, it's quick for either. Mm. So we need to find this new SV. Yeah, which I've heard. There's a new SV in town. And let's pray that it's actually, that we can actually hear it. Yeah. Just completed dinner and typical South Kensington, not too far from Knightsbridge. We've got a Ferrari California and a mini Instagram photo shoot going on <laughs> over, over there. <laughs> and Demi's sneezing. But yeah, Tim is literally right there. I don't know if you can see him reversing back in his Vauxhall VXR. 55 grand that car, but apparently it's got 580 odd brake horsepower. Here you go, let's just get this Instagram photo shoot. And someone on the phone. <laughs> this photo shoot is... Um, <laughs> longer than this is hilarious. I'm just gonna hold the camera here and see how much. Oh no, no, I think that's done. I think they're done. Uh. I need some pics of that, but it's probably too dark. That is nice. Four, five, eight. Oh, SV as well. Oh yes, that's the new one. Yep. We've got a 458 behind. That's the new one. Yes, on the park there. There we are. <laughs> Two SVs on slow. I filmed that on 
So I'm on Sloan Street now. I'm one of these, it's the first time I've ever been on one. Oh! <laughs> I'm getting there. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Good. Check me out. Should I get one of these? Can you car spot on one of these? I probably need to get a little bit better. Let me try and get a steady shot. Huh? I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna, yeah, I need this in there. I'm gonna try and get a steady shot of the SV. Oh. It's definitely got some cool features. It's definitely a little quirky, and it's a lot of fun to drive around town. And we will get to that. But it's completely pitch black now. So, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that is lighting it up is the sort of ambiance lights that we've got going on here. So, thank you for watching. Oh, look at that! You can see a floating thumb. Software is going to shut down. This is a real problem because this has taken me ages. This has taken me 45 minutes so far.